From oil to natural gas, which, unlike the rest of the energy complex, is actually popping today by 2%. You know, this commodity has surged 75% year to date, nearly half of those gains kicking in at the start of the Ukraine war. One stock that has definitely benefited. You know, you may not have heard of it, but you should. EQT, it's double year to date. EQ is the largest nat gas producer in the U.S. with operations in Pennsylvania, where Jeff just was, West Virginia, and Ohio. The company represents 6% of U.S. natural gas output. And today, it's announced a coalition designed to promote domestic nat gas production and LNG export infrastructure while reducing global greenhouse gas emissions. Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive EQT CEO, Toby Rice. And we should begin with a congratulations, Toby, for joining the uh, S&P 500. What has that done for the, the stock, for the company, for your profile? Well, it's been uh, not too long that we've been in the, the index. Um, so I haven't really been able to say exactly how that's impacted the trading activity. Certainly, it's helpful. It's a uh, great group to be a part of, and we're happy to be in it. Uh, but one thing that's that's we're focused on right now at EQT is making sure that we can bring more clean, reliable energy into this world and make it make it affordable. Which is, of course, natural gas. <laughs> we know natural gas, nuclear power, clean and hopefully more affordable. But right now, nat gas is anything but affordable at $6.57 per million British thermal units. It is definitely um, at a premium at the moment. So, you know, how long will it take to get up to speed on what you hope will be much more domestic production? Yes, to talk about pricing and put it in perspective, natural gas prices currently at $6.50 um, is certainly higher than the 20-year average of $4.50. But even at these elevated price levels, it is still the cheapest form of energy in the world. Uh, when you compare natural gas to coal, you compare it to oil, natural gas is significantly cheaper. But I agree, and I want the American people to know, that energy prices are unnecessarily high across the board. And we have a tremendous potential to lower prices by increasing supply. And the only thing that we need to make that happen is more pipeline infrastructure. And we can go ahead and add the supply and connect it to the markets. And these are things that we can do very quickly. Um, but we need uh, some regulatory uh, coordination to help make these projects, get these projects built so we can do our job and provide cheap, affordable, reliable energy to the, to the market. Well, that's been the issue. We need uh, regulatory easements, at least, just to at make this happen as we head into winter. We just had uh, Ralph LaRosa, who is the brand new incoming PSE and G CEO, big utility here on the East Coast, tell us last week that he expects people's bills to go up 20 percent this winter because of natural gas prices. Listen, we can sit here and say, absolutely, this is horrible for the consumer. But what we look at the trade. We look at here on this business network how people can actually benefit by investing in certain things. As you look at, you know, your opportunity to increase shareholder value, what is the number one thing that you think is going to do that in the next six months? Well, we focus on our higher purpose here at EQT, and that is to help bring energy security to the world while also lowering emissions. Mm -hmm. um, I think if we're successful in achieving our higher purpose, the shareholder success will follow naturally. Now, the, the really interesting opportunity that we have in front of us right now is if we can unleash U.S. LNG on the world stage to lower the biggest source of emissions, which is foreign coal, we will do two things. We will achieve the ability to sustainably grow our business here uh, domestically. That is going to be a way that we can grow our free cash flow per share. And you'll see that translate to greater earnings for our shareholders. But also, these exports are going to represent a surplus of energy in America for Americans. And surplus mean lower prices. And this is really the best of the both worlds, where we can uh, reach our full potential by unleashing U.S. LNG, provide energy security to our allies around the world, create a surplus here domestically to, to create energy security for Americans in lower prices. Oh, and, and by the way, we can be un unleashing the, the greatest, biggest green initiative on the planet. That's exactly what we're focused on. And we believe that doing this is going to create a tremendous good. amount of value, good. not only for our shareholders, but for people around the world See, and Americans. You can do good business and do good for the planet. Uh, let's watch you do it. Thank you, Toby. It's good to see you. All right. Thanks, Liz.